On September 17, 1977, Notre Dame rolled into Jackson, Mississippi with high expectations. What they ran into was a Rebel squad hungry to defend their home turf. I and mean, here is Lish pitching it out. Ferguson taking the ball. Spins away from one tackle. Gets back to the 18, 19-yard line. Hit down behind the line of scrimmage. In a seesaw battle, the men in red and blue would deliver the knockout blow in the final quarter. Ellis with his hands under the center. His setbacks up Perry and Story. Now he has the snap. He's back to throw. He looks and fires over the middle. It's completed to 45. Running with the football laterally across the field is L.G. Smith to the midfield track, to the 40, to the 35-yard line. He's to the Notre Dame 30, to the 25, to the Notre Dame 20. He has the ball down at the 10-yard line. He rolls out to the right-hand side. Looks the ball. is batted into the air. It's caught by number 21 by James Bay. And he goes in to score. Touchdown for Mississippi. The Rebels have taken the lead. The Irish would go on to claim the national title that year, but not without the lone loss to the Rebels, marring what would have been their perfect season.